the market completed earlier this year was finally opened officially last Friday. The ceremony started very late, but the ribbon was finally cut and the guests toured the market. Last uh, March, uh, the uh, groundbreaking ceremony. Since then, only uh, took one year time uh, to complete all these uh, beautiful buildings. And uh, at this time, uh, we had uh, uh, finally uh, this opening ceremony. Uh, it has been a long waiting opening ceremony. The Medang governor Jim Kass was given a key by the National Fisheries Authority Minister Mao Zeming as a symbol of handing over the market to the Medang provincial government. Minister, the fisheries, Deputy Prime Minister and the Fisheries Minister, also Medang provincial government, is now ready for the policy. Long talk silo, you also be like ready long look at him display infrastructure. You know not bag it up and by some long good plan. The Medang Open member Nixon Duban, on the other hand, took the opportunity and made an appeal on behalf of the landowners to the Japanese ambassador. We are so excited. We just got one or two little requests. I hope you look at bridges and roads for our people who actually contributed the most and very, very uncommon hardwood you cannot find anywhere in the world. They contributed to the Japanese economy. Also present was the Deputy Prime Minister, Sir Leo Dion, who assured that the country will see more infrastructural developments like this market from development partners like JICA. It is through this infrastructure development such as Medang Town Market, Webeck Town Market and others yet to come are being made possible through the support from our development partners, such as Japan International Cooperation Agency, that we are able to deliver basic services and economic development to the 8 million people of this nation, and particularly to the rural, rural, rural population, where more than 80% 80, 80 of our people live. Rachel Shise, National MTV News, Medang.